Okay, I'm recording. Oh, I'm really nervous. Uh, I've been talking about making videos for the longest time. We'll see how this goes. I mean, this could potentially suck. Fuck, no. <sighs> okay. Mm. Mm. Um. I don't know why I'm like shaky. <laughs> Yes, I'm finally making a YouTube. I know I've been saying this for a really long time, but I've been so busy working late at night almost every day and then wanting to like go hike and do other cool things out here. I usually I'm too tired to do it at night. I figured why not do it at work in my office. I look disgusting. I look disgusting. I look disgusting. This is the first time I'm looking at myself all day. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited to get into some stuff, kind of talk to y'all. I will say I'm gonna have a lot of interruptions because I have to talk to every car that comes by. So this video is gonna be just a little bit choppy. Hi, you can park on this side, it's to the right of the clock tower. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Anything I can help you with? Cool, have fun. Oh. Hi. I'm just here if you have any questions. <sighs> okay. Back to me. Ever since I've moved out here um, to Wyoming, I've had a lot of people from back home in Dallas um, that I hadn't talked to in a long time or I wasn't really friends with who uh, started kind of following me more on my social media and would reach out to me. And I had a lot of people ask the same question. Like, what's your life like out there in Wyoming? What what do you do? Like, what's everything like? And so I thought I'd make this video kind of just to tell everybody. You know, I also feel like starting a YouTube channel will kind of help people who want to keep in touch with me just to kind of feel more connected and kind of know what's going on with my life, kind of. I figured I would just kind of start, let's see. Where should I start? I guess I should start off with college and kind of why it went wrong. I went to Texas Tech University for petroleum engineering and I was taking college level engineering courses since the eighth grade. Shout out to Mr. Carver, Mr. Tolleson, and Mr. Garrison. They were like the best teachers ever and they helped inspire me for a lot of things even with today that have nothing to do with engineering. Just kind of problem solving stuff in general, they've been a huge impact on my life. I lasted one semester. It was not for me. Totally hated it. I'm not hating on tech necessarily. It just wasn't for me. I was in a sorority and all that stuff. I probably should have went to a college that was not predominantly Greek life. I just felt like partying was all I could do 24 seven. I started getting really depressed. I was missing classes. I never wanted to go anywhere and my friends were like oh what's wrong and I'm kind of like I'm a little bit depressed and they're like oh well let's go party and I'm like nah that's not what I need right now um, I didn't do well with grades I was super unmotivated ended up leaving after one semester left over winter break I returned back to get my stuff then I came back home to Dallas I started working in the, like the nightlife of the industry um, it was fun but it was kind of problematic. I don't think it, I could really handle it very well. I, you know, came home and was living with my parents and once I got this job, I was sleeping all day, working at night and partying the rest of the night. And my parents weren't really okay with that. They were just like, hey, if you're making your own money, you know, you should probably start to live on your own now if you're not going to go to college. I was like, all right, I will. I moved out and I was kind of bouncing around places. I've had all my shit in my car and it literally looked like I lived out of my car. I would stay at friends' house like all the time. Even though I had a place to live, I still was just kind of wanting to be in that nightlife area. Anyway, like I said, partying every night, drinking so much and gaining weight. It's fine, I don't care about gaining weight. It's just that, you know, I wasn't being healthy. That wasn't really what good for me. One day, I got a phone call from my parents who were vacationing for like a month and a half, like they always have, in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And I've grown up going there, I've always loved it, it's super beautiful. They call me on the phone one day and they're like, 
hey Sydney, you know what? And I'm like, what? You should really consider moving out here. And I was like, you're right. Okay, I would hung up the phone, immediately applied for a job at the mountain, and which, which was super easy to do. People don't realize like how easy it was for me to kind of just move out here with as little as I had. But yeah, I applied for a job, got a job with parking. I sit in a parking booth and just talk to people. The restaurant I worked at, they didn't believe I was going anywhere. And they were like, whatever, sure, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, like kind of all that. Oh, no, I'm I'm really gonna go. I'm up and left. The drive out here took me about two days. Um, it's like over a thousand miles to get here. My sister drove with me, which was super awesome. We got to have one last little road trip. Boom, I made it here. I had applied for employee housing and I got it, thankfully. So that was very easy for me to move. I was fully furnished. Um, it was a lot cheaper. You know, I could stay in there the whole season until I could figure my shit out. When you move to a place, a lot of the times you need furniture, which is super expensive. You need to pay for all these like utilities. I didn't have to pay for any utilities, which was awesome. I just had a lot of random roommates. It was interesting. I felt like I was in college again. I had an overall great experience. The girls who lived upstairs from me are my current roommates now. We live in a house together and it's great and we're having a good time. Everybody just kind of has always been asking me like, what are you doing up there? So my job is I work for parking for Teton Village Association at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. So it's at the mountain, but I'm not necessarily a JHMR employee. I work for Teton Village Association or TVA. But I still get my $2,000 free ski pass every season, which is pretty gnarly. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here. So I just sit in here from 6.30 in the morning to 4.30 p.m. Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays, I sit in the other booths from 6.30 to 12.30 p.m. And then I'm off. Super easy. Oh, we're just gonna ride the tram up. Perfect, have fun. Yeah, so I sit in this booth and I just give people information because in the summertime it's free to park in these lots. However, come winter, we charge for parking and a lot of the times I'm not in the shack, I'm out parking cars in the lot, which can be kind of interesting. We deal with a lot of interesting people, as you can imagine. And I got really lucky. It's a super easy job. Um, I love who I work for. My boss is incredible. They help me out with so much stuff I and mean, it's super easy. In the winter time I can go ride on the mountain from 1 to 4 because I get off at 1. And in the summer I can go hike on all the trails and everything. I tend to bike to the village a lot so I can ride my bike on the bike path to and from. Great exercise. So that's work. Um, what else do I do? If you follow my Instagram. I'm sure you can see all the posts that I have of hiking and stuff. We've got some amazing places to hike out here. I love hiking to places that have lakes and rivers because I love to jump off the rocks into the cold water. Super cool, super fun. I, I covered work, I covered my hiking stuff. I love to camp. Camping's incredible out here. We have lots of big camping parties. Super fun. Great way to hang out with people. They even bring DJs up there with um, like generators. It gets pretty crazy. The town of Jackson is pretty cool um, when it's not summer because to be honest, summer is the busiest, completely packed. You can't park anywhere. I mean, that's why I bike everywhere. So there's lots of fun places to go to at night. We have a lot of like cool country bars where you can dance. We have some like nightlife. Um, kind of Dallas scene type of places too. A lot of great restaurants. I'm pretty happy here. There's absolutely everything I need. I don't really need anything else. It's pretty fulfilling. Um, people tell me all the time, they're like, oh, we want to come visit you. Oh, like how did you get the courage to move out there? I tell them, just come out here, come visit me whenever you want. I have a lot of friends who have told me how they were kind of how I was. I felt kind of stuck. I told them, I'm like, you don't ever have to feel stuck. I mean, it really is easy. I just decided one day I was gonna move and I did. And I am the happiest I've ever been 
I wouldn't trade it for anything in the entire world. So that's kind of how my life is out here. It's very fulfilling. I'm very happy. I'm very fortunate enough to have my family come visit me all the time. I still feel really connected and close with all of them. So uh, that's my life here in Jackson Hole. This is my first YouTube video. I actually have a, a lot of cool ideas planned. Some projects, some just funny, quirky videos that I plan to do. That will we'll all come in due time. I just thought I'd make a little... Hello, this is the beginning. <laughs> kind of an intro to everything. Woo! Okay, I hope this turned out well. Oh well, we'll see. But I promise the other videos are going to be better because I won't be in this shack. I won't be interrupted all the time. I was nervous at first, but I kind of worked my way into it, I think. It's great talking to y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe to me, please, and give me thumbs up for anything I post. I'd super appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye.